the tree St. Andrews is a uh, yeah, little food cope basically. We uh, connect uh, local farmers with um, yeah, people in St. Andrews. St. Andrews is a pretty small town um, with a university and uh, the tree operates through transition as well, which um, I don't know if you've heard of, but is also just a, a yeah, carbon community action group really that tries to use community action to tackle climate change and adapt uh, to new ways and alternative ways of yeah creating you know meaning and community and so the tree is one of the projects uh, that runs through transition but i think i can ah oh, there we go um and yeah so that's what i just said basically um and so the tree is all, one of our main focuses to try to be as sustainable as possible so um, as you can see on this photo, this is our stall um, that I think in the fall when it was possible again to have kind of a pickup, um, we would do a weekly pickup. Uh, and in the back you see the cargo bike that has been used in many ways th throughout this pandemic to also do deliveries, but also generally just to kind of move things around St. Andrews. It's a, a pretty small place, so having a cargo bike uh, is kind of sufficient to do you know, move things around and, and help us in those ways. Uh, we also have a, an office where we have dried goods stored that is, you know, a relatively small space, but enough for the orders we get. We are not a super large, um, you know, corporative. We have maybe about 20 orders a week um, on average, I would say. Uh, so the load is kind of manageable. We're mostly, no, I think almost exclusively on a volunteer basis as well, uh, and really try to foster the sense of community and working together both uh, within the people that run the tree, but also with our customers and obviously the producers that are involved. Um, so it's all quite, uh, you know, unprofessional setup, but it works quite well. And we've actually found that it helps us to be quite adaptable and flexible to um, deal with new circumstances, like for example, introducing deliveries instead of having a pickup um, on a weekly basis, and that's been really great. Um, yes, uh, we also have a lot of students that are involved, so that means that kind of um, the volunteers do shift quite a bit, uh, which means that you know we just need to be communicating a lot. But we found that that works quite well, and um, yeah, there are many positive sides to that. Um, right, that's just how it looks like our little shop. Um, yeah, challenges that we've had um, have come, yeah, mainly through, as I said, this volunteer-based um, approach, mainly because um, the orders do vary from week to week. So there, sometimes there might be very few orders and then other weeks there might be, you know, uh, three times as much as we usually have. Uh, and that can pose challenges just in terms of like time management and making sure that especially if there are other commitments, um, people can uh, work up to these things. Um, but yeah, then for so an example for, of like the adaptability or flexibility part. So we were quite, we've been trying to to also reduce plastic packaging uh, in in ways that, for example, oil or dishwashing soap can be um, just filled up in a bottle. So when we were doing the stands for for picking up the food um, people could just bring their own bottles and in that way kind of we were experimenting and seeing if we can move towards having as little plastic packaging as possible uh, and I think that is one of the things we are currently still working on and we find it it is a bit challenging just because there are uh, other I guess logistical and operational things that we sometimes if there are a lot of orders within a week can can pose like a challenge to us and so um leaving out packaging can add like an extra level to that um at the same time as you can see in this picture here uh, our veg bags um that you know are quite quite uh, well received uh, they come in reusable bags and so there is also uh, people usually return these these sacks so they are reduced to the farmers and we kind of try to to keep that in like a, a cycle. Um, and then here are some more pictures. Uh, on the top right, uh, you can see somebody in our little office with the stored goods that we have. Um, and then yeah, below another 
photo of what the stand looked like pre-COVID <laughs> and, um, and then a couple of other photos just of volunteers um, doing deliveries uh, with the bike and uh, many smiles, of course. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I know we don't have a lot of time, so I think if Maya has anything to add or if there are any questions. Yeah, I was just gonna say, um, yeah, no, it's it's been really great to like, introduce local veg for, for our students because none of us are living here permanently. So it's been really great to like learn about like the local farms and like have that be, and have students like have that opportunity, which is something that's pretty unique and yeah, really great. No, it's been, it's been really great. And a lot of people love like ordering veg from us and it's normally like the same people. So we have a little more like flexibility with that. But yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we've also been with the tree. So the tree has been running for, I think, about four or five years. It's kind of hard and kind of funny um, because the, it's uh, it's mostly student volunteers, like the the core team of who makes up the, the tree keeps changing. Uh, so we don't necessarily like have somebody who has been here the whole time who can really tell the whole story of the tree. Um, but I think that's kind of beautiful because it just also shows that the tree is still evolving and it's constantly growing. and. Uh, changing, uh, which has been really nice. Um, and just on that, yeah, we've apart from the, the local farmers, we've also been able to include somebody who makes bread. So um, she's just like, we've connected with her and and uh, she, she makes sourdough bread uh, with organic flour, which is really, really great that we've been, and I think it's also ordered quite a lot. So um, uh, yeah, we've been able to include small businesses into the tree. Um, that yeah i think are also quite grateful and you know it's like a reciprocal relationship where we can build the tree and we can build more products um but also we're offering like a space for people to to sell their their products so that's been really really great um, yeah awesome thank you so much for sharing and it's um what an inspiring story and i love as well um how you've highlighted adaptability and experimentation as, as being a bit of a superpower so i think that's yeah, thank you so much for sharing your story and um